Today we are taking a look at the scaffolding block, so if you enjoyed learning about Minecraft, go on down, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. The scaffolding block was added in Minecraft in version 1.14, Village and Pillage, and this was to help us build bigger and better structures. As we can see here, we have a pretty simple little layout. It's six bamboo and one string. So let's go into the chest, as we always do, and grab our materials and build this. All right, we have crafted it up. We get six scaffolding out of one setup as we put in there. Go ahead and grab that out, and we go over here. Now, there has been some changes from the time that this was added in the snapshot, and this is snapshot 19W11A that I'm working in right now. Uh, used to, we'd be able to look straight at the ground and place these down, and they would go all the way straight up into the sky. Not the case anymore, as you can see here. This is the one we're working with. We place them right in the center, and they go straight out. Now, we actually have to back up just a little bit, place one here, walk into it, look straight up, and then continue placing them, so that they go all the way up. Now these will go all the way up to sky limit, and if you'll allow me just a jump cut, I'll show you that. Here we are off in the distance, far, far away, and now I'm going to place one down below me, back up just a little bit, and point underneath the one that I just placed, place another one, go back into it, into the center, and start placing them again, and we will notice that we will stop here in the clicking, but we will continue placing these, and eventually we will see the message pop up at the bottom left of the screen telling us that we have reached the block build limit. So it, just wait just a moment here, waiting, 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 any moment now, it's coming, you know it's coming, here it comes, and, oh come on, it's not there yet, really? How about we start climbing while we're placing? That might do a thing. All you have to do to climb is place, uh, press a space bar, and you begin to climb. Just like that. And there it is. Height limit for building is 256 blocks. It gave us that warning, which means we have reached the entire limit of the build height in the world. Let's just go ahead and fly up here and see if that actually... Yes, it did. It did the trick. There we go. All the way up to sky block limit, folks. Let's go back to Dunstan Industries, shall we? And now that we're back at Dunstan Industries, we're going to take another look at something else. As we can see, we got this one going from the floor to the ceiling. We're actually going to walk just inside of it here and press the space bar until we get up to what limit we want. And now we're going to look down in the direction that we want to build out to the side and start placing. And as we noticed, that has stopped, which means we have gone as far as we can go and it has actually placed blocks on the way down for the next section. Just like that. Now, if we go back up this section, and we start placing them again, we can build all the way out, and we can actually see them dropping out down there. So let's try going out this way. See them dropping down, and they continue out. Because the block that we are standing on, it goes six blocks out from that before it starts going further out. Quite interesting stuff. Now let's go on back down and make sure that's a completely accurate assumption. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it drops down and creates another structure. That way it has something to hold on to so you can continue around. Me personally, I absolutely love this block and think it was a great addition to the game. Uh, but let's get on to the redstone bits, shall we? And here we are with the redstone bits. So we have a lever over here, a lever on the top of it, and yes, you can place pretty much anything on the top, but not on the side, since the sides are pretty much transparent and non-existent. Now let's flip this lever, nothing happens. Flip this one, again, nothing happens. Now over here, we have the repeater leading into it, and a comparator coming out of it, just to see if we can get some sort of a signal. No, we cannot. And on top, again, nothing. So they have absolutely no redstone uh, capabilities whatsoever. Unfortunate, but true. And now we're over here to see what pushing it with a piston will do. It'll break it. That's the only thing that's going to happen. It's going to break your scaffolding. Now let's see if we can pull it with a sticky piston. And, and no. No, it cannot. Cannot pull it. And one thing that I want to note here is I actually did a Minecraft player trap type of thing. There was a tutorial for it in my tutorials playlist if you'd like to check that out. But it's not going to work on Java anymore. I'm not sure about Bedrock because I haven't tried this out in there in a while. But 
it kind of relied on the piston pulling back one of the scaffolding, which was stacked up like so, and we had carpet out to the side, and it would cause the player to fall once they activated the, the system. But now that's not going to work. But if you do it this way, it will. As long as you're pushing it, it'll work, but pulling it is not going to work. So my trap is broken, and I need to update my tutorial. So now we're on to this little bit here, and we're going to see if we can actually saturate this block with water. Yep, we can saturate that with water 100%, without a doubt. Let's see what happens when we break those. Let's fill this whole thing up, and then break it. And as we can see, the water is still there, so it's not affecting that at all. Just like stairs, fence posts, and a bunch of other blocks, this can be saturated. Now let's see what happens when we place it in lava. As we saw there, it can actually delete the lava block, but this will eventually catch on fire. And as we can see, it is now caught on fire, and poof, it's gone. It is completely gone. It does burn in lava. So don't get it near a fire or lava, because, uh, yeah, bad things can happen. And now over to the furnace to see if this thing burns, because it is, in fact, made of something that is burnable, but yet it does not burn. Hmm, wonder why that is. But I wonder if we can actually smelt something with it. Let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone just to see if this is going to work. And yes, you can use it as fuel. But you'll need more than one. So let's try seven. So it looks like it'll take two, three, four. Yeah, you'll need four scaffolding to smelt one block. Not really worth it if you ask me. And like always, we are here in the 3x3 room underground, and we're going to step up here, and as we see, we got a block light of 12. We're going to see if this thing blocks out light. Place it in, and we still have a block light of 12, so no. It does not block out any light whatsoever. Completely transparent. If I've missed anything, do go down into the comments and let me know. But that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and click that notification bell so YouTube lets you know when the next video comes out. But until next time, I am Swinney Dunstan, and I'm out of here. See ya!